The progressive separation of isobars indicates a decrease in pressure at a point on a frontal zone. A wave appears on the front, and if unstable, it continues to develop the center of the low pressure is at the apex of the wave. And the surface air circulation develops a typical anti-clockwise in northern hemisphere and creates an inward movement. Sections of the regional front are now identified as the warm or cold front with an intervening warm sector. This process is called frontogenesis. During these initial stages, the amplitude of the wave increases and the depression moves rapidly eastwards. In a direction parallel to the isobars of the warm sector, sometimes at speeds over 40 knots. The position of the warm front at the surface marks the point at which warm air replaces cold air. The position of the cold front marks the point where cold air replaces warm air. Within 24 hours of the initial wave formation, the depression usually reaches maturity and its center of pressure value decreases. As the depression deepens, so the pressure gradient becomes steeper and the wind speed increases, this process continuing into the early stage of occlusion. The speed of advance of the cold front of a depression is greater than that of the warm front, hence the area of the intervening warm sector diminishes. As the warm sector is progressively lifted off the surface from the center of depression outwards, an occluded front develops. The depression begins to fill its center pressure of value, decreasing and simultaneously wind speeds decrease as the pressure gradient slackens. This speed of advance of the depression decreases and it may eventually become stationary with the occluded front pivoting around its center. Eventually, the weak low pressure area and occluded front fade. The process from initial occlusion to the final fading of the front is termed frontolysis.